It all began with a question, a quiet thing, a quest for knowledge, inspiring me. Too many helplessly idly wait for the heavenly, but I'll accept no suppression of my empathy. I'm here to change the world. Are you ready to address some bullshit? Today's dumbass comment of the day goes to Ray. He says, do you intentionally initialize God's name in lowercase as a subtle, coy, left-handed slap? Just curious. If you believe we are products of primordial stew, well, that takes a lot of faith, Podnar. To get straight to the point, no. When I use the word God, I'm referring generally to a God or the God concept. There are over 2,500 deities documented through throughout human history. I don't have time to name them all. If I were to refer to a specific god, Zeus, Juju, Yahweh, Allah, or the Flying Spaghetti Monster, then I will capitalize the name. But even then, it has nothing to do with respect. Also, where did you see me mention a primordial stew? I don't believe I did. I'm pretty sure that is my first time ever using that terminology in my life. However, if you are attempting to refer to evolution by reference to abiogenesis, the miller urey experiment, and especially the subsequent experiments, is a good place for you to learn about the primordial stew. If we were able to reverse time, the constant expansion of the universe would become the constant inward collapse of the universe to a single point. The same is true for evolution. The constantly blooming tree of life would become a contracting tree until it shriveled down to its roots. Those roots could be the primordial stew, but we aren't sure. We aren't arrogant enough to claim answers that we don't have evidence for. However, a logical conclusion that can be reached is that life originated at a single point, so to speak. Evolution is a fact. Everything on this planet evolved from a common ancestor, which means that everything that lives is a product of one ancestor. Not a quantity, but a generality. We haven't totally nailed the specifics, but we have a pretty good idea of how it may have happened. Even if all we had were the miller urey and subsequent experiments, we'd still have more evidence for abiogenesis than for any god ever presented. But even this does not disprove a god's existence. It is still possible that a god could have jump-started life, so your implied false dilemma disappoints. Finally, to address your requirement of faith, it actually takes no faith to accept science. Faith is the belief in things without evidence. If you had evidence, you wouldn't need faith. Science requires zero faith, and nearly every field of science, including the ones that enabled you to leave this stupid-ass comment, operate based on the reliability and predictive power of the scientific method. And no, that's not ad hominem because I addressed every part of your dumbass comment. Well, I think that settles that. Thank you guys for watching. I would like to give a special shout out to all my supporters over at patreon.com slash reason. If you have a burning question that you'd like me to do a video on, you can send a donation to aolistatheist at gmail.com. I hope that you all have a great day and may reason forever outweigh religious stupidity. Peace.